There are numerous ways on how to create a mobile application. So he's going to talk to you about a really easy way of creating a mobile application, and you'll get to do that today as you work through this with him. And then Tia's going to talk to you about some business opportunities. We do offer a lot of courses that work toward positioning you to be able to develop applications in iOS, in Android, and also Windows. We also have programs in networking, programs in cybersecurity, programs in geospatial technologies, and all of these are sponsored by our grant. So we're really glad to have everyone here. We welcome you, and uh, don't hesitate to stop and ask questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. My name is Casey Simmons. Um, you guys are all learning to code iOS varying levels of, of dealing with iOS. Right. And so if you, either you know now or you will soon know that coding in iOS is a time consuming process. And you know, that's the way it's, it, when you relate mobile apps kind of the way uh, websites originated. It all originated with code, binary code, <coughs> ones, zeros, and then with the twos. Now you've got you know, whole strings of code that, that you put together to form fabulous things. Well, that was great in the beginning when demand was low, but now demand for mobile apps is vastly increasing, which means you know they had to come up with a way to find a way to make it more efficient to uh, create a mobile app. So we, uh, our company got together and came up with uh, the My Pocket system, which is, is a template system where pretty much all the coding is done internally and then putting it in, into a, a nice template to where, I mean, if any of you ever worked with WordPress to build a website at all, it's kind of the same thing. WordPress just takes the coding that used to be done for websites, put it into a nice, easy drag drop, plug and play template to where you can quickly spit out websites, nice, efficient, good looking websites without having to do so much of the coding. Now, neither way, do, in no way does this do away with iOS coding. You know, all this is merely is a, is a way to efficiently produce generic, I want, I want to say generic, but you know, simple apps that will work for most businesses. As we go through, you'll kind of see, uh, you know, it has plenty of options, but for the most part, uh, every app that you build uh, within our system, uh, they all kind of do the same functions depending on how you set it up. So we'll just kind of go through some of the uh, some of the functions here. And we're going to talk a little bit about the company. The company was founded by uh, his name is Brian Clark. Uh, he really made made his money, and uh, and everybody's heard of Redbox. That's kind of how he started. Was was the uh, the vending Redbox machine? Uh, him and a group of guys. They actually yes sir. They actually uh, came up with the coding that basically made that work. And uh, it was brought to him uh, by another developer saying, hey, you know, websites now have WordPress to where you can easily uh, make more websites without doing so much of the coding. You know, let's, let's try to do the same thing with, with mobile apps. And so what, that's what they did. They got together, took them a little time. They actually had to go to Taiwan and couple places overseas to to uh, to get it all together, but they were able to do it and, uh, and develop the system. My name is Tia Simmons. I've been uh, in the My Pocket industry. Um, well, I've been in sales for 15 years, but I've been working with the My Pocket industry for uh, the past two years. And basically what we did was we came in um, on the ground floor as they began to start marketing and start uh, introducing their platforms to the Collin County area, we were able to be a part of that. So that was the greatest thing. Um, Casey started out as a developer, um, actually doing uh, church apps. And then from there, I came on the corporate team um, as ma mainly just um, creative awareness. I talk a lot about creating awareness because the first thing you have to do before you even start selling mobile apps is create awareness with the businesses as to what you do why you do it and how it's a benefit to them. So that's very, very important. So I'm gonna stop and I just wanna talk. So who knows exactly what a mobile app is? Raise your hand, speak up. I wanna make sure I'm not here by myself. 
secondly, who has a phone where they can download that? Okay, um, can you pull out the phone? In this class, you can use your mobile device. Okay, I want you to go to uh, one app that you use on a daily basis or weekly basis. And when you have it up, just let me know what it is. CNBC. CNBC, okay, what is great about that, that app for you? It gives you all the prices of the exchanges and stocks, and you can adjust it for whatever you want into it. And how many times a day do you visit that app? Ten times. Ten times a day. Okay. So you get another one. YouTube. YouTube. And wh what do you do on YouTube for a, a, on a mobile app? Mm -hmm. I find out work-related stuff. Okay. How to do codes or do updates to AutoCAD software, work code stuff. And how many times a day would you say you visit that? Anyone else? eBay. eBay. And how many times a day do you visit that app? Uh, I got stuff up for sale on there every day. Every day. Uh, about how many times do you think you actually go to it from your phone? Uh, I'd say probably well, at least once a day. Once Maybe a day. Sometimes two or three. At least. And then if you're selling something, then you're probably checking your email or yeah. checking it daily, it's right? It's great for that. Huh? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, ESPN. 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 Why would you need an ESPN app? We can't get enough of that. <laughs> How many times a day do you think that you check the stats? Um, depends. Probably about two or three times a day. Two or three times a day. So do you do you hear the the norm? Everyone who has an app on their phone is visiting it daily. That's what you want for your apps. If you decide that you want to go into this industry, now let's talk about why this industry is important. Okay, the statistics show, and it, when you see the material that is coming around. The mobile app industry has increased by 1,000%, and it will continue to increase. By 2015, everyone will have some type of mobile device. In uh, the schools, in the, in the middle schools right now, they don't have books. They use tablets and um, iPads in order to teach. This is where the industry is going. This is where the community, this is where everyone is going to mobile devices. They're going away from books, they're going to mobile devices. What does this mean for you? If it's increasing by 1,000%, that means over 58 billion people will be utilizing a mobile device. Meaning, if they're doing away <laughs> with books, they're doing away with computers, they're doing away with even, they're not doing away with websites, but they're getting away from websites and going to apps. So what does that mean for you? That's a huge lucrative income, and you're in a small, small industry. So, whereas there may be 20 or 30,000 web developers, there, there may only be two to three hundred app developers. So this creates a huge revenue for you. Okay, Casey mentioned to build a template app. You could build it for seven, 700 to 1500. Okay, that's just based on what we charge. What you charge is based on how you decide to set your pricing up. And we're gonna talk about that. Now on the iOS, I know a lot of people don't know what that is, but basically, as he mentioned, it is coding. It is where you go in and you de you develop the app <coughs> yourself from scratch. So whatever it is that their heart desires that they want in this app, you can do it. They want a camera so that they can go in. We do for our HOAs. Um, they can actually take a picture of a violation um, of a car that's sitting on uh, bricks and it's not supposed to be. And they can send that in and there you go. No, there's not, a, there's not a car in my yard on bricks. Sir, I have the picture right here. Would you like the license plate? That's huge for a HOA, for a homeowners association, because that's what they do all day, is check for violations of yards that are not mowed. So that's something that's perfect for them. So the first thing you want to do is hone in on the business that you want to market to. See how you could benefit them. See how what you do in building an app can benefit them in their business. And start with the people that you do business with the most. Look at the problems in their, in, in their company. And then you think about how can I benefit your business and help this business grow. As an example, say for instance, um, a church. We work with churches all the time. We build several, we have several churches that we built for in Frisco. One of the things that churches like about having a mobile app is the fact that they can connect with their members and their guests and friends. And people don't have to come to service to get the message. If you know what I mean, right? They can download the sermon. They can have it right there. They can pay their, if they're going to be out of town, they want to pay their, their tithes and offerings. They can do it right through the app. If there's a, uh, an event that's coming up, 
The church can do the push button notification. They can send it to everyone that subscribes to that app in one push button. That's huge. That's literally giving you access to all 700 of your members at one time. The same thing applies to, say for instance, a um, chamber of commerce or something like that. Anytime they have the ability to reach multiple people at once, that's huge. And that's the benefit that you want to be able to extend to the businesses. So um, that being said, I wanna kinda go into it. Now, the way the templates work is, the way we have it is we have it two ways. You can come in as, a, as an intern and we will actually do what we did on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We'll sit down with you and, and you can sit with our developers and walk with them through the development and the building of the app, which like he said, two to three hours. You could do five or six of these in a day, which is great because that is going to increase your revenue. And our interns are compensated, it's not free. So that's a good thing for you too. That's the opportunity because you'll be able to learn the business, you'll be able to be compensated, and most importantly, you'll have a portfolio. So that when you go out on your own, and now you're doing it for yourself, you can say, while working with my pocket business, these are the uh, mobile apps that I had um, the ability to build. And so that, that's now a relationship that you have with these small businesses that you can use for references, as well as you have platforms now that if they say, well, let me see your portfolio. I'd, I'd like to see some of the work that you've done. You can give them the app previewer. They can go in and view your work. That is going to help you to, to um, tone in with that business because if you're just coming in and you don't have a portfolio but you build apps, it's like, okay, well, let me see your resume. Well, I've never had a job. You know how that can turn out, right? Well, we're looking for someone with experience. More experience. Yeah, more exactly. Experience. Exactly. <laughs> and then when you graduate, you want to go work for a major development company. Oh, well, we're looking for someone with app development experience. We, I know you graduated. You graduated at the top of your class. Oh, that's great. But we need some experience. Well, this is going to give you the best of both worlds. Because although we don't do iOS in McKinney, in our office, all of our iOS is done by our developers in Taiwan. Because we found that it's better for us to outsource it and pay them the wage that they've accepted and agreed upon rather than trying to pay $80 to $100 uh, per hour. For, for the development of it because the, the revenue is very lucrative. And that's the reason why this program is so very important. And that's the reason why the grant has so much support for you because they recognize that this is a huge industry, but people don't realize it yet. And by the time they do, you'll already be certified, you'll have all your training, you'll have your degree, and now when they start going through the phone book and the, and the, and the websites and they're Googling app developers, you're already registered, you're already there, now all you have to do is wait for your phone to ring, rather than having to go out and drum up business. Does that make sense? Any questions? It's not a wrong question, you can ask anything. What's the name of your company? My Pocket Business, LLC. Do you have cars? Yes, I do. I was gonna pass them out at the end, but if you like them now, give them to you now. <laughs> With Colin College, this will be our uh, fourth opportunity to do an internship or mentorship with the college and we, we like developing partnerships because we want to share the information that we have gathered and what we do so that you can see that there are real companies out here that are willing to take you under their wing and help you. That's the number one thing that we found is there's a gap. Um, you have the knowledge, you have the degree, now you can't seem to find a connection or an inlet into this industry because if you're not already in, it's hard to get in with any industry. If you've uh, been in engineering or you've been in, um, in the medical field and you decide to change midstream, you know how difficult. Has anyone experienced that? Changing industries? Mm -hmm. And can I share? Talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's and uh, intuitiveness, and it's all about who you know, right? It's mm -hmm. so much easier to get into an industry if you know someone rather than trying to do it from scratch. I know that when I did mortgages for six years, and then when I decided to go into property management, I probably put out 20 or 30 resumes, and I thought, oh, I have all this experience. Oh, I've calculated numbers. Oh, I've done this, I know that. No calls. It wasn't until I found someone that knew someone that had an opening, and that's when I was able to get into the market. Then I moved here in 2008, and everybody wanted me. <laughs> but that's what it's about. 
um, once you have that experience, now everyone wants you. Now let's talk about money. You want to talk about money? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about it. So uh, the way that you make money in this industry is based on how you set it up from the beginning. You graduated, you have your degree, now you're ready to enter into this market. Okay, do you want to be an employee or do you want to be self-employed? Let's see, who wants to be an employee? You want to work for someone, get benefits, eight to five, Monday to Friday, no weekends, no? Who wants to be self-employed? You work your own hours, make your own schedules, write your own paychecks, yes? Am I by myself? Nope. Let's see the hands. Self-employed. Okay, um, if I don't see hands, I'm gonna pull these chairs and we can just stand. Okay, let's see the hands. You haven't decided? How about you, sir? I'm more of an employee. Employee, okay, okay. <laughs> now, time. let's talk about the differences. Okay, so let's talk about the differences between employee and being self-employed. So I'm, I'm asking for class participation. We're just gonna make a little pros and cons list. And then I'm gonna tell you how we do it. Now, what is the benefit of being an employee? Benefits. Benefits. A boss. Well, I mean, if you have a boss, then that means you have a I'm point kidding. of contact. I'm kidding. Oh. But seriously, if you have a boss, then you have a person that can hold you accountable and you them. So you have somebody that is a point of contact, they're gonna be your help, they're gonna train you, they're gonna teach you, they're going to make sure that you're doing it the way it should be done. Okay? What else? Guaranteed paycheck? Yep. All well. the parties. <laughs> <laughs> Social there's, there's, there's a lot range. of those in your, when you're self-employed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then on this side too. There's usually a big schedule. Casual Friday. <laughs> yeah, casual Friday. <laughs> they up this casual Monday through Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Now, another thing I'll say is you write your own paycheck. Now, there's an old saying, if there's no ceiling, then there's also no floor. So if you don't work, you don't eat. That's, it's not a, a pro, it's a con, but it is self-employed. And that's, <laughs> yeah, huge motivator. Um, let's see, huge motivation. <laughs>
but that's definitely <coughs> true. And so back over here to the 15, okay, if you're an employee of this 1500, you may be on an hourly basis, okay? So like he mentioned, if you're doing the coding, then it wouldn't be 1500. It'd probably be more like 5,000. Now what's gonna be frustrating for you is you're making $60 an hour as an employee. Okay, so uh, say your job was eight hours. Okay, so that's $480 that you made off a $5,000 job. That would frustrate me, I'm sorry. 5,000, I should be getting at least about 30%, which would be 1,500. See my point? But you don't get to set that because you're just an employee. Now, over here on the template, this whole 1,500, you subtract off how much it costs you on the, okay, on the resale side, we have a way that you can actually um, be your own boss, but you don't have to develop this whole thing by yourself. What happens is, is you actually, as a reseller of My Pocket Business, you will be able to purchase templates in a, in a lump sum. So say for instance, you purchase your template for $500, you purchase four, that's $2,000. The great thing about it, if you have already worked with us, you don't have to come up with that money up front. We will go out, we will help you sell, we will help you find the businesses, we will help you so that when you get your 1500 from the business, you subtract out the 500 for your template, now you just made $1,000 in two to three hours versus eight hours on your job, $480. Even on a basic level, with help, you still will make more on this side rather than doing it this way. Now, is this locked in stone? No, because I don't know how other people do it. I just know how I've seen it done since I've been in the industry. And on an hourly basis, $60 sounds great. It sounds like a lot of money, right? I mean, to make $480 in a day, that's a lot, right? Just one day. But when you like to make a thousand in a couple hours, it's your decision how you decide to do it. I'm just giving you the examples and showing you what's available to you. This is the market that you are tapping into. Now, how do I find businesses that want to buy these apps? Okay, that goes back to, I, I said before in our last uh, class, if you are not a people person and you want to be behind the scenes, then you need a me in your life. You need somebody <laughs> locally and perky. <laughs> They can go out and market for you and go to these um, chamber events and networking opportunities. Say, hi, my name is Tia, and we build mobile apps. What do you do? 